Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a Japanese ramen shop tutorial. So I was trying to finish up my Shattered Savannah project that I started around a year ago when I got stuck thinking of something to build on this small patch of land beside a cliff. And then I found this ramen shop tutorial by Kenny Zope that really inspired me to make one myself that's smaller and fits the theme of the Japanese area that I have in my base. So this is what I got from watching his video. So this is Materialist and our main building materials are going to be stone bricks along with acacia and jungle wood since that's what I mainly use for my other Japanese builds as well. We're going to start off by mapping the build as an 8x8 perimeter and the yellow shelters you see down there at the bottom of the, the build area will indicate the front side of the store. We're going to build some pillars of acacia logs five blocks up at the corners and then you want to follow closely on where I built the middle pillars. After you've done the pillars, you want to connect them at the top and then through the middle section like I do to separate the customer section and the kitchen section. The kitchen section is on the right by the way. Then you want to cover all the diamond blocks with a stone block. Next, we're going to align the perimeter with acacia slabs on the front and left and the right side to indicate the entrance and the kitchen door. And then you want to align the rest with oak leaves, but make sure to leave two blocks open for the chimney at the front of the store. Now we're going to fill in the walls with looms at the bottom with white terracotta on top. Fill the ground with acacia planks. We're going to now make the chimney with a mix of stone blocks. But you want to bear in mind here, this middle section right here is four blocks high. The next thing we're going to do is decorate the walls with some windows, signs, and trapdoors. Next, you want to place a spruce trapdoor with a jungle trapdoor on top, and finally an acacia stair to make the sliding doors for the entrance. And then connect the last space with an acacia gate. We're going to start off the roof by placing two acacia slabs at the middle two blocks of each side and then line some upside down jungle stairs going towards the corners. But leave the corners for a jungle slab. Then you want to line the perimeter with stone slabs and then place the corner slabs half a block higher. Now 
Next, we're gonna build the arch for the roof with stone bricks and fill in the ceiling with acacia and jungle slabs. Then you want to fill in the arches with some white terracotta and finally line the rest of the roof with stone bricks and acacia wood. Before we work on the interior, let's finish up the exterior lighting and decorations of the store. Now for the inside of the store, we're going to build the top part of the counter with acacia stairs and barrels facing the kitchen and the bottom part with acacia and jungle stairs. You can decorate the counter with some signs and pressure plates if you want. We're going to make the seats with some simple red nether brick slabs and then finish up the interior decorations however you want. For the kitchen, we're going to use a furnace and smoker for the stove, a cauldron for the noodles, a lever for the knives, And then after some more interior decorating, the build is done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. For those who watched my first video on my shattered savannah base, I'm almost finally done working on it as I'm filling in the nooks and crannies around the area and will be dropping a full video on it soon. I've been doing this for around a year now, so make sure to like this video and subscribe if you want to see that, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.